So we've been we've been talking about um, instruction lists, and we've been saying that if you if there's something you want to do over and over again, um, then um, generally you're gonna you want to um, use an instruction list with it. So the, the the way to think about it is the people that designed this language for Foo to be able to understand, they wanted to have a way of communicating to Foo. Look, hold off on, on these instructions. Don't don't jump the gun and and do them before you you understand what it is I want you to do that I, that I, how I want you to do them over and over again. So for repeat four, I'm saying four times I want to do all this stuff. Okay, with everyone click on saying I want you to look at tell every single turtle on this page to click on. Okay. Oh, there's another one I forgot. So uh, there's um, forever. Right? That's another one that you want to do over and over again. So forward one, right one, say. Make a circle. Okay? So that's something you want to do over and over and over again. Um, and if you want to cancel some, cancel that, um, you use the same list that you used to uh, get it going. Okay? So, um, so that's there's this idea of if you want to repeat something over and over and over again, um, you want to do it. There's also, um, and this one really gets people sometimes too, is the uh, is if and if else. So, um, so reset. Let's let's look these up in the vocabulary for a second. Let's, I mean, repeat. What am I saying? Repeat. repeat takes two and puts a number and an instruction list okay and sometimes you'll see instead of instruction list it might say list to run or something like that um, but you know that means the same thing so repeat takes two and puts a number and an instruction list runs the list of instructions the specified number of times okay so um, there's but there's a there's another um, there's another procedure that takes two inputs, and the second input is an instruction list, and that is if. So if takes two inputs. The first input, instead of being a number, the first input is true or false, and then the second input is a list to run. So yeah, this is this means an instruction list also. Okay. So if it takes a first input that's true or false, and a second input that is a list to run. Okay, so uh, let's say we want to uh, let's see uh, to check x. We're just going to check our x core. We want to say if um, equal x core or let's say yeah let's say how about this we'll say if greater x core 50 then r rt 180 and let's see what that looks like so um oh how about this let's go um Let's also say we want to go forward five and wait one. So we're going to put this in uh, in this guy's um, rules tab. So we're going to replace this with check x and um, turn this guy. Oops, turn this guy this way. So we'll. We'll, try, we'll run it in a second, but I want to go over this, uh, what's going on here. So notice there's no instruction list right here. This stuff where it says if greater x core 50. So let's go over that for a second. What does that mean exactly, this first part? Because remember we said that if needs true or false as its first input. So we could actually, we could say if true... Uh, if true, 
forward 50. Okay, and, and that'll do it. Because this first thing just needs to, it needs to evaluate to true or false. It needs to, Fu needs to figure out that he, if he's going to get uh, true or false from, uh, from the um, reporter. Okay, so um, we have this reporter. So whatever, whatever reporter we have in this location, it better report a true or a false. Okay, that's what if means. And um, most of the reporters, or most of the reporters that report true or false, they have a uh, question mark at the end. So let's take a look here at greater, 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 greater question mark takes two inputs, number one and number two. Reports true if the first input is greater than the second input. So usually, um, you know, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll see this used to compare something like that some, some reporter that you know is gonna report a number with some other number. And it could be, these could be two reporters also, right? As long as they're reporting numbers. So greater needs two inputs. So let's look at greater again for a second. So if I just say greater question mark, it's going to say, oh, needs more inputs. If I say greater 7, oh, still needs more inputs. Greater 7 than 5, I don't know what to do with true because it's a reporter, right? So it reported true. Or if I say greater x core, and 50, I don't know what to do with faults, okay? So um, so sometimes this is going to evaluate you true and sometimes false according to, depending on, specifically if we're looking at this one, right? Let's get rid of these other ones for a second. So if we're just looking at this one, this is going to report false if x core is less than 50. If I move this guy over here, let's say, Let's check his x core. Uh, so now his x core is 240, right? Before he was over here, it was a big minus number. Now his x core is like 241, which is greater than 50. So now he's going to say, I don't know what to do with true, right? So you can, so again, this is a reporter, so you can do, you know, you could, you could show it. Anything that, that can accept uh, true or false as input, you can use this reporter with it. Okay, but we're we're using if here, so we're saying if greater x core 50 than this. So why do we have the RT 180 in brackets? We make that an instruction list, but this is not an instruction list. Why is that? Well, because this piece right here, we want Fu to evaluate that right away. We want Fu to figure out immediately, you know, as soon as he can, because he has to collect his inputs, right? He has to say greater and then x core and then 50. As soon as he collects all his inputs, we want him to figure out if that's true or false. And then, but, but this we don't always want to happen. We don't always want RT180 to happen. Sometimes we we do and sometimes we don't. We only want this to happen if this business is true. Okay? So that's why this is in brackets. So sometimes we put stuff in brackets. So remember before we said like like with uh, everyone click on um, right or um, or if we saying uh, or everyone click off or repeat right and all those or forever sometimes we want if we want to keep something to keep going on and on and on we um, we need the the brackets to tell Fu hold off because I want you to I want you to think about this for a second I want you to do this with multiple times here, what we're saying is, 
You know what, Fu, don't run this right away. I want you to use this um, input here to decide if you want to do this or not. Okay? So, um, yeah, so here we're seeing that the um, X core is greater than, let's, I think if we, it might look more interesting if we did it this way. Um, so this guy has, remember, has a check X in his backpack here, in his on click, and it says forever. So if we do this, yeah, then when he, as soon as he gets greater than 50, then he goes that way. And we could stick in an, oh, yeah, and then he's, that's kind of cool that he flips around. Okay, so um, everyone click off. All right, so, uh, yeah, so that's one. There's another one. Actually, I think I saw it when I was looking at the grader, and I, that looks like an interesting example here. So I'm going to go back and look at grader again. I showed this example here. If else, greater x core, y core, set c line, set c blue. So if else, let's look up if else. I'm going to write that one down though first, and then, then we'll look it up. So let's say to check x, y, because we're looking at both the x core and the y core for this one. And it was, what did it say? If, if else, so instead of if, it says if else. If else greater x core, y core, set C, set C line, set C blue, something like that, okay. Now what's going on, oh, and now what's going on? Well, here we have, so set C sets the color of the turtle. So if I say set C red, it makes him red. Um, so now what we have is, um, yeah, let's, let's look it up. So if else. So if we saw it takes true or false and, one, and a list to run, and only runs this list if the first input is true, okay? If else takes three inputs. It takes a true or false and two lists to run. Okay, it runs the first instruction list if the true, or f if the true or false condition is true, and runs the second instruction list if the true or false condition is false. All right, so let's take a look at that one. So, and I'll since I already colored this guy, I only got his backpack. Instead of check X, I'll do check X Y with this guy. And. I think I'll, I'll put his pen down. I think that'd be more interesting. Uh, yeah, so he's going to have his pen down. Let me just clean everything. Okay. And now I'll click on this guy. Oh, did I say forever? Oh, yeah, it was forever already. So it's going to forever do this. Oh, we're not moving though, right? So let's go forward five. And I kind of want to set him off at an angle because um, I would like it if sometimes his X core is bigger than his Y core and sometimes it's not. So what's hap going to happen here? Well, remember we have this greater needs two inputs. X, so we're, we're going to collect these two inputs, X core and Y core. If, um, if X core is greater than Y core, then we're going to do this. We're going to say set C to line. But if, if this is false, if X core is not greater than Y core, we're going to do this guy, set C blue. Okay, so let's, let's check that out. So right now, it's green, it's green, it's green, it's green. Oh, it's blue. So when the, when the X core is bigger than the Y core, it's green, and when the 
y core is um, bigger than or equal to the x core. It's blue. Okay, so that's kind of a cool effect. So, so why? So again, it's the same idea. We want Fu to figure out right away if this is true or false. Well, we want him to hold off on these instructions. He's definitely not going to do both of these instructions, right? He's got to pick one. So we're saying, don't do these instructions right away. That's why there's the brackets around them. Don't do these right away. Hold off and check your first input, all right? And the same thing with if. We're saying, don't do this instruction right away. Hold off and check your first input, all right? So that's another reason why we sometimes need brackets.